and welcome to Coca Pina Channel. My name is Lowell Masto. And this is my nail art series inspired by animals. I just can't help but wonder will you guess which animal it is inspired by today? Before the tutorial ends, okay, boop. To achieve this look, you'll need a base coat, two base colors you can blend in together. I chose two blue colors, any black eyeliner pen you have, top coat and cuticle oil. Let's start by applying Blue Rizzler and Never Tie Down as a base color. Both of these colors are made by Holotyco and I myself am made by my parents. But you surely don't care about my birth and so do my parents. Anyways, please use a base coat beforehand to prevent the nails from staining your nails blue, unlike me. I am way too lazy today or any day, so I go straight in with our chosen blue base colors. I regret it now, but it is my swatch hand and the color of it is decided by fate and not me. With the first coat on the bottom half of my nail, I applied blue Rizzler and on the tips never tie down. I repeated the process for one more time to make sure the opacity was not a hot garbage. And lastly, for for our base color, I applied a bit more of Blue Rizzler, swiped the brush off from the nail polish and just blended the shade better with the same brush. Other nail flancers might use a designated brush for blending the two nail polishes, but not around here, partner. Here we use what we have and are able to find in our house. After all, my cleaner brush also doubles up as an eyebrow brush. You may call it laziness, but I call it resourcefulness. I did this little blend in this exact order since Blue Rizzler has a more sheer consistency, therefore it is easier to blend with it rather than with never tie down. The latter is thicker, way thicker, almost like my juicy cheeks below the waist. Can you believe I am a size L for my bottoms in Europe? Also, who was gonna tell me that having L bottoms after S bottoms means that I will wipe away numerous things from tables with my said asset? I still think I I am a lean 18 year old while in fact I am definitely not. Anyways, now that we have our beautiful base, we can go in ham with eyeliner pen. Yes, you heard me right, I am once again using eyeliner for nail art. Crazy girl, I know. So firstly we do two gag lines that both meet in the corner around the top side of the nail. Then I start to drawing triangular like wobbly lines to fill in the whole nail, much like a zebra crossing but with triangles. It truly works, I have been using eyeliner for universe knows how long and when topped properly it holds like a simple nail polish. But I won't go in ham actually, in fact I will go as lightly as a feather or any other very light thing. I swear, I know more of them. Ideally, you should not have shaky hands for this, yet the world is imperfect unlike me. However, yes, my hands are usually shaky, so when drawing lines, I didn't even try to make them straight, but rather make them artsy. Well, more so a bit tipsy or maybe even a bit drunk lines, the point being not straight ones. If you can't beat them, join them, and I am very bad at beating. I had a fight when I was a child and I lost both times. I was a lame child with no muscles, but now I have zero muscles as well. But at least I can afford nail polish, yes. Again, don't worry if you have shaky hands, I think it even makes the nail art more unique, if anything. Less depresso and less espresso for us, I guess. Uh, so that our hands would shake less. However, most importantly, just be very gentle with your eyeliner and if needed, just make dots instead of lines and then connect the dots into the line. Lines. That is so much easier than actual lines. Live hack. Since this is not a zebra manicure to anyone guessing, we will paint some more lines but in another direction as well. Also draw as many as you can to fill in your nails or don't, I'm not the boss of you, not yet anyways. For this gigantic nail I took around 3 minutes to make it in full so make sure you have the time to spend before starting this specific secret animal manicure or maybe just in Enjoy this video for no other reason than my silly humor, you know, the world is your orange. If you happen to accidentally fail on one line or another, just grab some micellar water and fix that right up with a q-tip. 
the benefits of working with makeup as a nail art medium are benefiting, I'll say. Just also make sure that your base color is dry since you may smudge your nail art in the process otherwise. Don't forget that practice, friends. Practice makes it perfect and this is my second run, not the first one. So it's well busted with nail art. I usually need at least three runs, but I think I am kind of getting better and better at eyeliner. Yes, yes. After waiting for 5 to 10 minutes for an eyeliner to dry so it wouldn't crack while applying top coat, we apply the said top coat. Here I used a Holotacos glossy top coat. If you have any good and cheap glossy top coat recommendations, just let me know since I am searching for one that doesn't cost $10 but doesn't remove the sparkliness of the sparkly polishes either. Please leave your European friendly suggestions in the comments below. I have used INM one for 7 euros and that one just eats up the sparkle even though it is a good one for creme colors for example. So maybe you know the one that's good at both? I also love to moisturize my dry cuticles on the end of every manicure so here I am using Holotaco's cuticle oil pen to do so. That is an amazing cuticle oil pen, you guys, very comfy to use, highly recommend. I use it all the time because it is made so well you can just throw it in your purse and reapply whenever. The oil itself has no smell but absorbs quickly and moisturizes really well. I even started using it as a helping medium to soften and push the cuticles back and it works. And that's it, our beautiful dare I say even summery manicure is done. Yeah, we managed to do an unreal transition with two blues and added some accents of black eyeliner. So did you recognize the animal this manicure was inspired by? I'll give you some more time to think by speaking absolute nonsensical words like wobbla daba, schlumpia plimpa, leclios kashmirga. I think that one was in Simlish, but anyways, did you guess that it's a butterfly fish? Then you're very very correct, my friend. Butterfly fish has approximately 129 species though, so it was a difficult one. They are found mostly on the reefs of the Atlantic, Indian and Pacific Oceans and they look like they slay every day. If you are a professional of fishes, please let us know the interesting facts about the butterfly fish in the comments below. We would love to know more than Wikipedia says. Never tie down stain my nails pretty badly, they look like Easter egg yolks. No wait, Easter egg whites? Beautiful, isn't it? This one was kind of saved, but those, oh my goodness. Wear your base coat, guys. Guys, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers here on Kakefina channel, so please subscribe and share this video with your friends, if you liked it, of course. Thank you so much for watching, and see you in a few mental breakdowns. Bye!